Hey guys, I think it's time for a new Musa mode, so let's do this. We're down to our last 12 Musa modes, and uh, so this will be our 21st. In the last video, I mentioned that the next Musa mode will be Huang Zhang. So let's do this. And the first level is the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Let's go. It's finally time. Yes. <laughs> the rats are gathering. <laughs> Don't be so hasty. Alright, as always, the intro. In the spring of the year 184, led by their leader Zhang Zhao, followers of the religious group known as the Way of Peace rose up in rebellion across the land, their actions fueled by discontent with the decadent and corrupt Han Dynasty. This uprising became known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion, due to the yellow cross the followers wore around their heads. The power of the Yellow Turbans knew no boundaries, instantly spreading throughout the plains of central China. The beleaguered Han sent out a call for help across the land to organize a campaign against the Yellow Turbans. With hopes of a better future for the Chinese people, brave men and women answered this call of duty, and thus begins one of the most turbulent eras of Chinese history known as the Three Kingdoms. Alright, the equipment's the same, uh, well, I shouldn't say the same, but, uh, we have a second weapon, which works, uh, I'm gonna use that for my advantage, the items, I'm gonna, it's always gonna stay the same, up until I grab the fourth weapons, that is, uh, obviously life, muso, attack, defense, and red hair. Bodyguards will always be at 2, uh, the conditions, it's the same, if Zhang Jiao is defeated, we win, if Her Jin's defeated, or if I die, we lose, and uh, unless under certain circumstances, uh, you have to defeat Zhang Jiao 3 times, but if you let anyone else defeat him, then obviously it's less than that, or if you go to Zhang Bao or Zhang Liang, he'll teleport, then it's only 2 times. The unit info, uh, nothing changes, nothing will ever change, uh, it will only be additional units. If you play for Shu and you're not Zhang Fei or Guan Yu, then there will be an additional officer like so, for Huang Zhang. Some play as Huang Zhang, uh, there will be additional officer for Liu Bei. Uh, just correcting myself there, there will be additional officer for Liu Bei, not Huang Zhang. Uh, if you play for other than Huang Gai, then Tsun Jian, and the same thing, Zha Hu Diu and Zha Hu Yuan for Cao Cao. If you play for other, it'll go over for Her Jin. Anyway, we did too much of that already, we did the intro, so let's do this. Go! Ye children of the Yellow Tarvin! the siege of the yellow turbans. Humble the rebels. So we're going to go up here and defeat Zhang Bao. We 
And Zhang Bo will uh, have a cutscene very soon of Fallen Rocks. You flamey idiots! Take this! Feel the power of my. Let us call you a brave general. They aren't real! Everyone, press forward! Alright, we're gonna secure this gate. I'm gonna try to kill Zhang Bao without having Zhang Jiao teleport. Because that's the last thing you need. You can buy time and kill everyone else. So we defeated Zhang Bao without Zhang Jiao teleporting, which is a something that you might want to do if you want to get this battle done quicker. But if you don't want him to teleport to the left or the right, depending on which forces you play as, uh, Shu for the right, Wu for the left, then you might want to try to defeat whoever it is, Zhang Bao or Zhang Liang, without uh, being too close, because if you get too close, then Zhang Jiao will teleport in the direction that you're at. But then it'll decrease the amount of times you have to defeat him. It w I mean, I like trying to avoid it. Anyway, um, we're going to defeat Sun Zhang now. It was relatively easy. Don't get behind. They've joined against us. I defeated an officer. All right, now we're gonna face Zhang Jiao. Witness the miracles of the way of peace. Don't fall behind. Hmm. I have no 
no time for the enlightened. I have defeated an officer. Defeating Zhang Jiao here will make him teleport to inside head, uh, enemy headquarters. You'll see he'll pop up right. Uh, it's not going to show you just yet. Don't fall behind. He's going to show up right there. It's not going to be that big of a deal. If you want to uh, ignore him, that's fine. He'll eventually get defeated. But uh, if you go towards Zhang Liang, he won't teleport back to where Sun Jian is. And that was my plan. Yeah, and for the fact that uh, uh, Zhang Jiao teleported there, that was part of my plan. Because he won't teleport back. Alright, now Han Zong. If soon Jian doesn't send him flying. Yeah, I might want to grab that. So they join. You are an invincible hero. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to take out as many as I can before Jean Man Chang appears. That way, I really don't have to do much. Okay, they're all inside. And Zhang Jiao is over here. I'm gonna skip him for now. Because you have to feed him one more time anyway. I'm gonna go for Guan Hai. There's no way to defeat him that quick. How much health did he have? Anyway, John Meng Chang appeared and Sao Sao is there. Great.
Yeah, we need to get over there quick. Alright, much better. I mean, I think I already told you on my little rant about this little issue here. Anyway, now let's defeat Zhang Liang like I should have a long time ago. Alright, so we're going to grab the two Musa wines. Uh, I kind of delayed that one because I already retrieved one of them. And then the other two dim sums. They're pretty easy to find. Uh, there's one way that you can reach the uh, ones on the side of the castle. But, uh... You might not want to do that. If you want to do it, that's fine. I'm not going to question it. But it's better off doing it the way I do it. Um, there's a way that you have to have enough jump or reach or both. I mean, I was reading it a little bit. And uh, yeah, you need a little bit of one of those two. And uh, you have to hit it, save, then. Once you do that, it'll be enough. Uh, well, that will be enough. And uh, wow, I'm starting talking senses because apparently something dropped on my TV. But uh, all you really need to do is, uh, and I think I totally passed the door. Anyway, back on my random ran uh, rambling. Uh, you would have to hit the pot, save, then load, and it will drop to the floor. Like a little glitch, so to speak. But uh, I'm not doing glitches. So let's see here. Yep, got it. First try. Now we're going to go to the right and grab the first dim sum. And you can do the same thing what I just did there. If you're good at lining yourself up and jumping in the right spot, then uh... Do what I do, but if you want to glitch it, then do the alternate way that I explained to you. I mean, I'll show it off in a way. 
I mean, I'll grab this first, but I'll explain it to you. I mean, I won't do it, obviously. Because that will stop the battle. And I can't do that. Now it's the next one, I think. Yeah, I see the, the pot. I almost did not make that. Alright, so we got the Dim Sum. Now we're going to grab the second one, defeat He Yi, and then defeat Zhang Jiao and finish this level off. That sounds like a good plan to me. But yeah, I mentioned something earlier about my little rant in the past with Zhang Ling Cheng, and uh, basically what that is is that in this particular battle, in this particular game, uh, they hold on. You are an invincible hero. So they decided to uh, allow Zhang Ling Cheng with almost invincible powers by defeating Cao Cao in a matter of seconds. If it's on her hard, heard, <laughs> wow, if it's on hard, it's even worse. So, you have to go straight to him as soon as you can and defeat him. Or, if you're playing as Cao Cao or any of his subordinate officers and he has a high morale, then uh, don't worry about it that much because he will defeat Zhang Mencheng with ease. Just make sure he doesn't have more morale than Cao Cao. Because he'll get picked off pretty quickly. And we're going to go for Her Yi, even though he's running towards to the right. I'm not really thrilled about that, but, you know, it is what it is. Now Zhang Jiao. We grabbed the set, we grabbed both Dim Sums and Musa Wines. We defeated every single officer and general. Now what's left is Zhang Jiao. And that will be pretty easy. And it'll be really quick too. But uh I wanna kill off these troops with fun. Secure this gate too. And I wanted 300 KOs. Let us call you a brave general. Now we'll go for Zhang Jiao. Say bye bye, but no. Now bye bye. Oh, my body may die. My spirit will live forever. And that's a win. That took a little bit of time, but you know, it is what it is. How long it took. And apparently Sal Sal had high morale as it was. So facing yeah, that was a waste of time. Sal Sal could have done it on his own. Okay, so 
18 minutes and 40 seconds. That's not bad. Uh, no, no. The items do not, I mean, the weapons do not seem promising, and I doubt the items will be promising either. Okay, maybe for first level, that's pretty impressive, but especially on easy, but I have a plus 40. Two? 43, uh, uh, HP max. Let's see. Plus 42. Okay. So, like I said, the items weren't promising. We killed 309 officer, uh, officers. Yeah, that would be a lot. Uh, KO counts 309, 477 points. That's almost, uh, as many kills as we got, plus half. Um, 14 officers killed. Uh, we're gonna have maybe around near 7,000. I don't think we're gonna. Oh, we did hit it. I was gonna say, I don't think we're gonna hit 7,000, but apparently we did. So, that was part one. I think for the last. What? Four Muso modes now? The Yellow Turban Rebellion has been the first level we played. I mean, yes, it's a major battle, but. There are some like Zhao Yun, Zhang Fei, not Zhang Fei, Zhao Yun, uh, Da Ki, uh, not Da Qiao, Zhang He, that their battles were much later. Like, Zhao Yun's first battle was Cheng Ban, and Zhang He's was Guan Du. I guess I'm picking all the right ones, huh? Anyway, we'll save. And since we're done with Zhou Yu's Muso mode, we're gonna override it. And there you have it, you've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you for the next part. Peace.